In today's project video, I'm going to show you how I made this concrete birdhouse. Hey, I'm Lou, and you're watching Live Free and DIY. For this project, I am using crack resistant Quickcrete black and red cement dye from Quickcrete and the Quickcrete mortise repair. I'm also using melamine to create my molds for the birdhouse. This is the easy part. I basically just cut out all the pieces I needed for the molds for the sides, the floor, and the ceiling for my birdhouse. To put the mold together, I used hot glue. Once all the pieces were assembled, I also went over the mold with the hot glue to seal up any of the cracks to ensure none of the concrete mixture would come out. I also used a hole that I cut out from a scrap piece of wood to use as the door to the birdhouse and an old Allen wrench for the stoop. The floors and the walls of the birdhouse are going to be red, so I'm mixing the red dye in with the water before I mix it with the concrete. Once the concrete was thoroughly mixed, I started adding it to the mold. And then I gave everything a good tapping and shaking to ensure that there weren't any air bubbles in the concrete. Oh, I almost forgot to add the pipe fitting to the floor for mounting. Also off camera I added some blue painters tape to keep the molds together because the heat was bothering the hot glue. As you can see, when I'm demolding the front part of the birdhouse, it did not survive. I think mainly because of the hole, it just weakened the structure. So I'm going to go ahead and remake this piece using some hardware cloth to reinforce it. After I mix some more concrete, I put about half of it in the mold and then I put the hardware cloth on top and put the other half on top. I had to take the bigger rocks out of the concrete because they just wouldn't settle because of the hardware cloth too. This piece released much better. There was a tiny hair fracture that I just filled in with some more concrete mixture and it worked out great. And to put it all together, I used some of this quick creep mortar repair, which comes in a caulking tube. I felt that was going to be the easiest thing, and it actually worked really well for this process.
sorry I didn't get a very good camera angle when I was doing the roof. Basically I just held it up there and put some straps around it to hold it in place while the mortar dried. Once everything was set up, I went over all the joints again just to make sure there was plenty of mortar repair on there to hold it together. I ran out of that mortar repair so I used some epoxy design for concrete and metal to attach an eye bolt as the bird stoop. Oh. And then I mounted it to a light pole on our property using some 3 quarter inch steel pipe that I painted. So I really had fun working on this project and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I learned a lot about using Quickcrete and I hope you did too. I know it's been a while since I put out a project video, but I have been super busy and it has been super hot. I just could not stand to be out in my shop for more than 10 minutes. But September is coming right around the corner and it's starting to cool off, so I hope to be out in my shop a lot more. Thanks again for stopping by. If you enjoy my content, please check me out on Patreon and I will catch you on Friday with my next vlog update. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Video, video, video.